Could you see dinosaurs on Earth if you were on a planet 65 million light years away? Are telescopes actually time machines? Here on Earth, when we turn on a light, it seems instantaneous. It seems instant because light is traveling at some speed. In fact, it's the fastest thing in the universe, traveling at 300,000 kilometers a second. The further away the object giving off light is, the longer its light will take to reach us. Like light from the sun, it takes around eight minutes to reach us. So if the sun suddenly switched off, it would take us eight minutes to notice. So in that sense, yes, if we were on a planet 65 million light years away, we'd be looking at an Earth that had dinosaurs. But we're not 65 million light years away. We're on Earth looking out into space. So what's the furthest back in time we can see right now? Could we see all the way back to the Big Bang, to how our universe came to be? One of the oldest galaxies we found is this orange blob, Maisie's galaxy, named after the daughter of one of the scientists who found it using the James Webb Space Telescope. Maisie's galaxy existed 390 million years after the Big Bang. That sounds recent, but it's actually billions of years before the universe came to be as we know it now, over 13 billion years later. But the furthest we've seen into the past is not one particular galaxy. It's actually all around us. In 1965, two scientists, Wilson and Penzias, were experimenting with a radio telescope, trying to pick up galaxy clusters and supernovas, but they couldn't get rid of a mysterious constant noise. After trying everything they could think of, even clearing away pigeons and their poo from their radio telescope dish, the noise still remained. What they were hearing was the cosmic microwave background. The beginning of our universe began as one single hot, dense point. Then it suddenly expanded. The Big Bang. The cosmic microwave background is light left over from this rapid expansion. The CMB is seen as evidence of the Big Bang theory. Roughly 380,000 years after the Big Bang, it's the furthest we can see back in time. But we can't see it with our own eyes. There are different types of light, and they have different wavelengths. We see visible light, but light moving away from us stretches out. We can demonstrate this with a slinky. See, as the slinky stretches out, the wave changes. When the wavelength changes, it goes from being visible light that we can see to longer wavelength light that we can't. This shift is called redshift, as the waves shift to the red side of the electromagnetic spectrum, going into infrared and then even further into microwaves. And that's what the CMB is, microwave light detected with special telescopes on the ground and in space. Cosmologists are astronomers who study the evolution and space-time relations of the universe. They take data from telescopes and space missions and turn them into these splotchy maps, which show the cosmic microwave background radiation as the faint remnant glow of the Big Bang. This false color image shows tiny differences in temperature, which correspond to areas of slightly different densities, which would have eventually condensed into the stars and galaxies we know today. So telescopes are time machines, helping scientists discover more about the origins of our universe. But we also don't need a telescope to look back in time ourselves. What were you doing nine years ago? Well, nine years is how long it's taken light from Sirius, the second brightest star in the night sky, to reach us here on Earth. So every time you look at the night sky, you're looking back in time.